what is bug hunting, how to get started, and how does it compare to pen testing? We'll answer all of this in this video and a bit more. But before we start, if you're new and you want to learn how to hack and secure systems, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload an awesome video like this. If you're already a subscriber, then show me some love by liking the video and sharing it with friends. If this is your first time here, my name is Zaid. I am an ethical hacker and a computer scientist. I'm the founder and CEO of the cybersecurity company Z Security, and I've worked as a pen tester and a security consultant for over 10 years. We also have our own bug bounty platform, bugbounty.com, so I know a thing or two when it comes to bug hunting and pen testing. Previously, I made a video about the four best ways to secure a platform. In that video, we discussed bug bounty hunting, pen testing, and other approaches, but we looked at these solutions from the eyes of the business owner or a blue teamer or the security team. However, in this video, we're gonna look at bug hunting and pen testing from the eyes of a bug hunter, a pen tester, or a security researcher. We're gonna talk about how to get started and how do they compare to each other. So. Let's focus on bug hunting and let's focus on the goal and the goal of a bug hunt is to discover bugs in a target application or a website. These bugs could be very simple, for example here the bugs that fall under the information disclosure category will simply just show you information that you're not supposed to be able to see. Now that's not going to allow you to hack the server, it's not going to compromise the server but it can possibly be used combined with other information and other bugs to hack the server. Another example is injection vulnerabilities and these are very very dangerous and actually can allow you or allow a hacker to gain full control and hack the target server. So these bugs will not always allow you to hack into the target website, sometimes they'll simply disclose some information and that is enough for you to submit a report and get a reward for it. So the main challenge is to learn how to discover these bugs and vulnerabilities. I've made a video previously on how to become a hacker and pretty much everything that I mentioned there applies here. You can teach yourself how to discover bugs and vulnerabilities by searching through the numerous online resources on YouTube and Google, or you can take an online course such as the one that I teach myself. It starts with you from a beginner, takes you to advanced level, it covers a lot of bugs and vulnerabilities and how to bypass security and how to legally participate in bug bounty hunting programs and even write reports. Now you don't have to take my course, like I said you can learn all, all of this stuff for free, but my course is pretty awesome. Anyway, once you master this, the rest is very easy. So you're gonna have to find a target that have valid bug bounty programs so you can discover bugs in them legally, and once you discover a bug, you're gonna report it. If the report is valid, you're gonna get a reward, and once you have your reward, you're gonna go ahead and discover more bugs in the same target, or you could actually go ahead and find another target and discover bugs in it and repeat. So as you can see, in bug bounty programs, you are a freelancer and you have the freedom with many things. So you have the freedom of selecting your target because like I said, there is a lot of websites that already have bug bounty programs, so you can go ahead and test them whenever you want. You have the freedom of your own time. You select the time that you wanna do the tests. So you're not tied up to a work schedule. You can test them at any time you want. You can work at night, you can work in the morning, you can do it part-time if you want. It's completely up to you. You also have the freedom of selecting which bugs you want to discover. You might decide that I like injection vulnerabilities the most. They are not boring, they are a lot of fun, and I wanna always just test for them. So you can go ahead and test all of the websites that have bug bounty programs for injection vulnerabilities. You don't have to test them for everything. So you have the freedom of selecting the target, you have the freedom of your own time, you select the time that you wanna do the tests, and you also have the freedom of selecting the vulnerability that you want or the bug that you want to look for. Now, in a pen test, you actually have only one target because a company or a website owner or an application owner is going to approach you and tell you I want you to test the security of my application. And the goal is not to discover bugs, the goal is actually to hack that target. And to do that, you're going to be discovering bugs and vulnerabilities and exploit it. So you have another step, the exploitation step. You have to exploit the bugs and vulnerabilities that you find 
in order to hack into the target server. So in a pen test, you have an extra step in here, which is to exploit the box to hack into the target. And that's why I actually have a website hacking course because the goal is different. The goal is actually to hack the target. It's not to simply discover bugs in it. Now, as you can see in a pen test, you actually do not have a lot of freedom. So you have only one target and you can't select it. The target approaches you, the website owner or the application owner approaches you and asks you to pen test their application. You also don't have the freedom of doing it in your own time. So there is usually a time limit on the contract a week or two or a month, but you can't just do it whenever you want. And finally, you also don't have the freedom of selecting your bugs. So you have to test the application for all of the possible bugs and vulnerabilities. You have to guarantee full cover. So again, that's different compared to bug bounty programs because you can select the bug, you can select the target and you can do it in your own time. So to recap, the main difference between bug hunting and pen testing is the goal. When bug hunting, the goal is to discover any type of bug in any platform as long as it has a bug bounty program. Whereas when you're pen testing, the goal is to use the discovered bugs to gain full control over a specific target. Therefore, because of the difference in the goal, bug bounty programs give us more freedom. Because you have the freedom of choosing your target, you have the freedom of choosing the bugs, you can do it in your own time, and you also don't need to wait to be approached and hired by a company. You can literally go ahead and start today as long as you know the skills, as long as you know how to discover bugs. Whereas when it comes to pen testing, you have only one target and you have to test this target for all of the possible bugs in order to gain access to it. You also can't do it in your own time. You have to finish the job within a specific time and you can't simply just go ahead and start today. You have to build a portfolio so companies can come and approach you so that you can go ahead and test their systems or you need to work within a pen testing company as a pen tester. So when it comes to freedom, bug bounty programs gives us much more freedom. But because of this freedom, we also have an element of uncertainty. So your payment is not guaranteed when it comes to bug bounty programs because you could be testing for a certain bug for months with no success or you might manage to discover a bug after a few months, send it and then find out that someone else has already reported this bug. Therefore, your bug is a duplicate and you will not be paid. This never happens in the case of pen testing. So the payment here is guaranteed because when the company approaches you, you agree on a specific payment based on the time taken. So regardless of what kind of bugs you discover, and even if you don't discover any bugs, your payment is still guaranteed in this case. So bug bounty programs give us freedom, but the payment is uncertain, whereas pen testing is more restricted, but guarantees our payment. Now, typically in both of these cases, when pen testing or bug hunting, you'll be performing what's known as black box testing. Black box testing means that you don't have access to the code of the target application. So you send inputs and observe the output or the behavior. Therefore, we can't guarantee full coverage of the whole code base. However, there are cases where you might have access to the code. If the target uses some open source packages or dependencies, or if the target company actually gives you access to the code to maximize coverage. In that case, you can go through the code line by line looking for bugs and vulnerabilities. This does ensure maximum coverage and the best results, but it could be very time consuming as typically you'll be dealing with thousands of lines of code. Luckily, our sponsor Sneak have a great solution. Sneak is an open source developer security platform that can scan through the code and automatically discover vulnerabilities and fix them. And it doesn't stop there. It can even scan configurations, containers, and dependencies to give you maximum coverage. What I really like about it is that it integrates with pretty much most tools, IDEs, and workflows such as GitHub, Docker, AWS, you name it. All you have to do is sign up for free using my link sneak.co forward slash zsecurity, import your repos and let Sneak get to work. It'll automatically scan the code, find vulnerabilities and suggest fixes for you. All the findings are compiled into a nice report for further analysis later on and fixes can be applied within a single click. 
So check it out and let me know what you think of it. And I hope you find this video useful. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if you have any questions regarding bug bounty hunting or pen testing. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already and share it with friends if you find it useful.